So let's talk about acromancia. Um, I'm seeing more and more often that just because acromancia is low, we will jump to a supplement to supplement acromancia. But I would encourage that you take a step back first. Acromancia lives in and feeds on your gut's mucus layer. That's its food. So no mucus, low to little acromancia. And that mucus layer doesn't exist in an inflamed, unhappy gut. So if we have low secretory IgA, low elastase, inflammation, the terrain's not super happy. Acromancia is also a mucin degrading bacterium. So acromancia breaks down mucus to produce beneficial things. That is awesome. If your gut lining is healthy, if it's already compromised, we could argue that actually could make somebody feel worse or put more fire or fuel on the fire. So just because it's low doesn't mean it's the problem. We need to go and take a step back and look at the terrain and maybe acromancia will improve on its own. So I am not giving somebody with bloating, low enzymes, low immune, um, immune function an acromancia pill as a first line recommendation. I'm going to help them with regards to repairing things. I'm going to reassess things and likely we're going to see an improvement in acromancia on its own. So in this case, I want to just encourage you that low acromancia isn't the problem. It's arguably the consequence to which you need to look with a bigger lens.